purposes. I'm making this video for you for the opportunity when you get to record with me via Skype. So you can see in the background here, I've got the Skype logo. Why do I have this? Well, that is the tool and the resource that we are going to use to do a live interview with you. But there's a couple important tips that you need to know when you do record with Skype. So the, uh, the basic things I want you to talk to you about is lighting. Uh, positioning your laptop or your camera so you don't look like you're looking down on the screen. We're going to talk about what to use for audio. Next, what to dress. You'll notice that I'm doing something on purpose here. Little tiny squares. This is causing something called a moray pattern right now. Don't do what I'm doing right now. Never have little check lines. Next thing is uh, background, what you want for background. And um, the next thing I'm going to talk to you about are the questions that you'll be asked in a normal interview with us. Now, one of the goals here is to position you as an authority, an expert, as a hero or an all-star. And the whole objective is we want to tell your story in a way that the audience gets to connect with and relate to so they can raise their hand and say, hey, I can do this too. So all the questions are architected to really draw out the best in you. So a few quick things. First of all, lighting. The key thing, no, actually, let me back up a little bit. I'm going to talk to you about the computer position. Now, I have a laptop here, and uh, what I want you to know, and let's go to this camera right now, you don't want to have your laptop at this level, okay? It will look like you're looking down on the audience. So instead, what you want to do is position your laptop so the camera is actually pointing at your forehead. So you're actually looking up slightly. So you want to stack your laptop or whatever your, your uh, camera is on some books or maybe like a milk crate or something on your tabletop or desk. Never down low, always a little bit high. And then adjust the, the, um, the laptop screen um, back and forth until it gets a full body. Ideally, your eyes are one third of the way down and you're close enough so your head is full screen because we're going to be doing a split screen when we integrate you with our live broadcast, okay? So that's number one. Make sure your laptop is positioned properly. Number two, lighting. Make sure you have front-facing lighting, not backlit, or you're just going to look like a silhouette or a shadow. It'll drive the viewers nuts, and, they won't, and you'll look basically like a scary monster. We don't want to make a horror film here. This is about positioning you to look like an expert in authority, and uh, that's another important thing, too. Next one is your background. Now, of course, we've got this beautiful colored background. I'm not expecting that out of you, but just make sure you don't have like a blank wall and a vent showing up in the background. We've seen lots of that in the past. It's so like, you know, or like an open closet or a bunch of junk in the background. You know, no matter what your circumstance is, your economic circumstance, you don't want to look like you've got a white trash uh, garbage dump in the background, all right? It's, it's just like something a lot of people don't notice. So ideally, position your camera so maybe you've got a bookshelf behind you or um, some sort of a poster or something that doesn't date you, but just make sure it's not a window, an open window or glass. A curtain is fine, a sheet if you have to, anything other than junk, okay? And, or a window. Again, you don't want to be backlit. The next thing is audio. Um, if at all possible, use uh, a set of earbuds. I'm going to show you. Someone will throw me a set of earbuds right now because I didn't uh, bring them with me. Okay, look at that. Not too bad. Thank you, Carter. Okay, if you put on a pair of earbuds, you want to do this. You don't want to be using your computer speaker, but put your earbuds on so they're behind you, so the cord isn't hanging out. This doesn't look as weird, okay? And then you can uh, click it and plug it into your computer, but uh, use some smaller buds or, and you can even get it by with just one. What I usually do is actually tape the earbuds on the back of my collar or even run it down my shirt as well so it doesn't look gross, okay? So that's another important thing. Ideally, you'll have an external microphone as opposed to using your built-in microphone. It's going to sound a lot better. My recommendation, how'd you like that, pretty fancy, is to get the Yeti Blue microphone. Fantastic mic. Just remember one important thing about microphones. This is not the top of the microphone. This is the front of the microphone. I usually position it off to the side a little bit, but this is where the element is in the front. It's not on the top. And on the back of the Yeti, um, you'll grab the, uh, select the option that looks like, um, I can't remember what the shape is, a heart shape, an upside down heart. I usually call it something else, but I'm on camera and I'm making a, a, uh, a nice values-based presentation for you right now. But you can use your imagination, you'll know exactly what I mean. All right, so uh, audio. 
key thing is before you get on, make sure you adjust the volume, the setting, so it's basically peaking the meter and you'll sound a lot better. And the same is true, adjust your audio. Okay, um, I talked to you about dress already, no stripes. If you're a little overweight, horizontal stripes, bad. Solid color is good. Okay, so tight fitting is actually better if you're a little bit heavy than having something that's totally loose. Makes you look thinner. Again, horizontal stripes, bad. Make you look super gigantolopey. Um, uh, okay, other thing. Please do not wear, if you're a woman, do not wear dangly earrings or bracelets or necklaces because it'll jangle and jingle and it'll be super annoying to the uh, viewer. Um, the same thing with men. Ideally, my recommendation is men don't wear jewelry. It just kind of makes you look cheap. Um, it's my personal opinion, but um, it's just hanky. Pinky rings, stuff like that, kind of weird. All right, um, so we got lighting, positioning, audio, dress, background. That covers that, and clothing. Now, the questions. Here are the questions I'm going to be asking you. Step by step, over to this camera. Thank you very much. All right, number one is, I'm going to say, who are you? You're going to say, my name is so-and-so. I'm from such-and-such -such state, and I am the founder, owner of XYZ Company. Okay? Don't get into too much more of a commercial. I'll ask you questions. If you start positioning yourself, it's going to sound like a weird commercial, and it's going to cheapen the experience for the customer. And then I'm going to say, what do you do? I help small businesses grow by doing blah, blah, blah. And then uh, I'll ask you, who do you do it for if you didn't answer that? I work with chiropractors. I work with such and such. I work with restaurants. And um, I sell this kind of a product or service. All right? Now, I'll ask, how much does that cost? How much does the product or service? Now, if you're a Main Street marketer, for example, you're doing stuff for a chiropractor, and they're selling a $700 a month package, for example. If it's you, you might say, I'm using this tool or this resource to sell a $2,500 package. Whatever it is, I'm going to ask you about price. Now, I will ask you, how are you using whatever the product is? If you're using Instant Customer, I'll say, how are you using Instant Customer? If you're using Traffic Geyser, how are you using Traffic Geyser? How are you using Main Street Marketing Machines or whatever? And uh, you'll say, well, we are using it to automate the sales process and capture leads, for example. Um, so then I'm going to ask you a before question. So the thing that you're doing right now, what was happening before? And it'll be either nothing or we were doing about $500 a month or $5,000 a month. And then I'll say, well, what did you do with Instant Customer? And you'll say, well, what we did is we implemented Instant Customer and we created an automated webinar or automated teleseminar or something like that. And now the results we're getting are X, okay? So what I want to do is have a contrast, a before and an after. That's really, really important. That way the viewer, the listener, can really understand that me, I, I'm just like you, could implement this and go from X to Y in terms of my results. Now the next thing I will ask you is how long did that take to set up? You might say, well, it takes it took me about three days the first time around. And I'll say, how, knowing what you know now, how long would it take you to set it up again? It's like, sheesh, it only take me about two hours because now I understand how the templates work. Again, that's going to be meaningful to the person watching this. They're going to say, I can do that too. Now, the next thing I'll say is, what are the total results that you've received so far? And it'll be like, da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. And then I'm going to ask you some more questions um, that I know an, a customer would ask that I, that's going to be burning inside them. Again, I will not put you on the spot, and if I ask you a question that you haven't been prepared for, I'll make sure I will extend out and explain myself two or three different times, giving you enough time to think about the answer that you have so you don't feel uncomfortable or goofy, and you can always ask a clarifying question as well. That's called stalling, in case you didn't know that, but that's very important when, we're, um, when we have rapport on camera. So um, let's see, the before, the after, how long to set up, and then um, I will ask you a question like, what else are you using Instant Customer for right now? What else are you using Traffic Geyser for? And that'll give you an opportunity to talk about some other things that you're using it for, some other ways you could make money or the viewer could make money or increase the quality of their, their business as well. So at this point, I'm going to look out the corner of my eyes at my team and see if there's anything else that I have not added that I should add. Anyone? Okay, I'm getting thumbs up here. Oh, so, one question. What if somebody doesn't have Skype at all? Oh, they've never used it before. Okay. Which package do they need to make sure that they can get on the video stuff? Sure. So the question is, 
if they don't have Skype, they've never used Skype before, what should they do to make sure they use that? And um, there are two, there's another product you could use, which is FaceTime from Apple. Um, that could work as well. Um, Skype, however, is easy to use. Just download it for your PC or Mac. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. You will receive our Skype user ID to log in and use from us. I'm not going to put it in this video in case this gets distributed all over the universe. Um, but uh, the key thing is what's most important is that you connect with someone who does have Skype ahead of time. Don't, don't leave this till the last second because we're going to just move on. If you're not prepared, you haven't used it. I can't take the time and use, I've got five people doing production here. So it's up to you to test it out. Get it ready. Make sure your lighting looks good. Please use an external microphone. If you have a headset mic, that's okay. Not as good as, say, one of these. Um, you can order from Amazon. You can get it for 100 bucks for a Blue Yeti. It'll turn, you know, if you have Amazon Prime, it takes 48 hours to arrive. Um, best investment you'll ever make. But uh, it's up to you to test get things set up ahead of time because if we have to sit there and train you on Skype and you haven't watched this video, we're just going to have to move on. We just, no offense, we don't have time to teach you some basic stuff. Okay, anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? I'm going to wrap up this video. So uh, that's what you need to know about using Skype to do interviews with us live and in real time here from Digital Cafe Studios. And in some instances, we'll also pre-record it so that video segment will be played in, uh, during a live program. So I hope you learned something from this. You got something out of it. But this is the process of Skyping for interviews online from Digital Cafe Studios. My name is Mike Koenigs, founder of Traffic Geyser, and I will see you online soon. Bye-bye.